Information is critical when it comes to the vaccines, and it can sometimes be challenging to find the answers to your questions. That's why we are so thankful to have Dr. McGeorge here to help. Yeah, and on this one on Wednesday, he's back to answer more of your questions that you submitted on clickondetroit.com. Doctor? A viewer named Carl says, I'm a type 2 diabetic and have recently begun injecting insulin. Should I be concerned about taking the COVID-19 vaccine? No, Carl. In fact, your diabetes puts you in a higher risk category if you did develop COVID. So getting vaccinated should be an even higher priority for you. Now, here are more of your questions. A viewer wants to know, what are you supposed to do if you miss your second dose? The place I got the first dose is no longer giving shots, and I'm having a terrible time getting it scheduled anywhere else. If you aren't able to get your second dose from the site where you got your first, I recommend calling your county health department right away and explaining the situation. Many viewers have struggled to schedule a second dose through automated systems, and you really need to talk to a human being to get it sorted out. It's really important not to miss that second dose appointment unless it's a true emergency or you've been quarantined. If you miss it, start working to reschedule that second dose right away. Now, another viewer writes, the CDC guidance states that once fully vaccinated, we're able to meet with a single unvaccinated household unmasked and indoors. In the case of multiple grandchildren, too young to receive a vaccine from different households, is it okay to meet with these children at different times so long as no more than one unvaccinated household is present at each visit? Yes, you are interpreting the advice correctly. The risk of mixing unvaccinated households is that those who are unvaccinated could expose each other. If you're seeing your grandkids from different households separately, you've eliminated that risk. A viewer named Lorna asks, can I gather indoors without a mask with a group of people that are fully vaccinated? Is the risk too high with all the variants? I care for a fully vaccinated elderly woman with health issues and I worry about variant exposure to her. It is okay to gather unmasked if everyone is vaccinated. The presence of variants does change the risk a little, but getting vaccinated is the best thing you can do to minimize that risk. If there is still concern because someone is at an extremely high risk, wearing a mask is another layer that you can add to reduce the risk even more. Now, finally, a viewer asks, have you ever heard of the second vaccine causing a false positive rapid test result four days later? I got a rapid test just to be safe, and I was shocked it came back positive. The answer there is the vaccine cannot cause a COVID nasal swab test to become positive. So you should treat a positive test even after being vaccinated as an actual COVID infection.